So welcome to Exclusive Home. So today you are in for a treat if you are someone that loves and appreciates architectural design because in this episode, we will be taking a look at one of Singapore's most unique real estate class that comes with a strong heritage and cultural backstory to them. And yes, you must have guessed it, shop houses. So what is a shop house? A shop house is defined as a shop opening towards the pavement and it's also used as an owner's residence. So as a landlord, you have more variety of tenant options compared to a residential apartment. So URA controls the usage of each individual shop house. You can simply go on to their website and check out what is the possible usage of your unit. All right, so a bit history about shop houses. In the early 1890s, there were about 100,000 immigrants that worked and lived along the banks of Singapore River, which is known as Boat Key right now. So in the early 19th century shop houses, the ground floors were used as businesses, while the upper floors were used as living quarters for the early immigrants or workers known as coolies. So there are about 6,500 conserved shop houses in Singapore built in the early 80s and the mid 90s. So these heritage buildings form an important part of our city landscape and also serves as a link to our past. Singapore old shop houses have a unique blend of classic European and Chinese architecture. Shop houses with European touch resemble the French colonial houses with the distinctive French windows. For the Chinese origins, mostly influenced from the Guangdong and the Fujian provinces where the early immigrants come from. So in Guangdong, the shop houses are called Qinglo, so you can see the strong resemblance of them and Singapore's shop houses. So with the changing influence of architectural style over time, the design and versace of this shop house evolved. There are generally six shop houses styles sitting around Singapore. Alright, so right now we are along Perang Road, which is one of the roads situated in the Little India Conservation Area. Little India District is bound by three main roads, which is the Serangoon Road, the Sungai Road and the Jalan Besar Road. And it's right next to the Rocho Canal, which falls within one of Singapore's master plan, the Bras Basar Bugis Planning Area. And its key strategy is to focus on preserving the area's rich architectural and cultural heritage, while facilitating its development into a renowned education and learning hub. So the shop house that we'll be taking a look today is located just right next to the Rocho MRT exit and just behind us is the newly revamped Take Up Place. Just a few minutes walk away is another MRT station which is the Little India MRT station. So the main characteristics of a shop house is that most of them are terrace buildings which are two or three stories in height and they usually have narrow front with a deep rear. And also what stands out is definitely the heritage facade of each shop houses. The next one you will notice is definitely the pitch roof that is made of natural clay tiles, followed by the uh, granite bracket that you'll find them just below the roofings. So the next distinctive feature will definitely be the timber windows. They are either French windows or the casement windows with timber shutters. So followed by the next distinctive feature which is just below the French window, you'll find some decorative panels that stands out on the facade of the shop house. And the next feature you'll notice are the columns at the front of the buildings which supports the upper floors of the buildings. These are known as colonnades. So they are a symbol of strength, endurance and importance. And that is why you still find colonnades in important buildings such as the government buildings, universities and institutes. Right, so the last feature will definitely be this five foot way. So in the olden times, this corridor is used by the unemployed and old people which set up small businesses along this corridor. Which is why they have this name in Hokkien called the Gokaki or in Chinese they call it Wu Jiao Qi and in Malay they call it Kaki Lima. So there are also other traditional five foot way finishes which you can check them out over here. This ordinance was used to distinguish shop houses from one another. Generally, the shop houses in Singapore fall under three zonings. They are the residential with commercial on the first story or they fall into commercial and residential zoning or they have the full commercial zoning. So the main difference that separates them will be that shop houses that falls under the full commercial zoning are not subjected to the residential stamp duties. This shop house that falls under the commercial zone 
means that if you already own a residential property, you can still purchase it without paying any additional buyer stamp duties or ABSD. So this shop house has a lot size of 130.3 square meters with a width of about 5.4 meters and a length of 22 meters. It is two storey with an attic space. So the stairways of uh, this shop house is tucked to the corner of the shop house. Two good points about staircase being tucked to the side is that firstly, the tenant of your ground level is able to utilize fully the space of the ground level. And the second point is that you are able to rent it to separate tenants. Let's head inside to check out the interior of the shop house. Let's go. As you can see, it has a quite a high ceiling height. It is about 3.2 meters. So at the moment, this ground level is rented out to a retail shop. So there are also other possible usage for the ground level, such as a medical center, a childcare center, a gym, and also for F&B usage. You just have to lock on URA space to check out the possible usage of the ground level. All right, so now let's check out the back portion of the shop house. All right, so for the back portion where the toilet area is, and you also have a back entrance that leads to the back alley of this shop house. So this is the second level of the shop house. The second level is listed out as a office usage. So you can see that on the left and right of the layout are tables with their computers. And at the front, you will notice that these are the French window of the shop houses. So this is facing towards the front and the staircase on the second level is cut in the middle of the shop house that leads up to the uh, attic space. All right, let's check out the back portion of the shop house. As for the back portion of shop house, the tenant has utilized it here like a uh, entertainment area. You have also the bathroom and a shower room tucked at the back portion. And the back is done up as a pantry area. All right, let's head up and check out the attic space. Right, so this attic space has been utilized with more office spaces and at the side of the shop house, you can see that there is like a step down extra space uh, which they utilize as a private director room. And if you look upwards, this attic space is actually broken up all the way to the rooftop which at the side, they have installed uh, windows to allow natural lighting to fill up the attic space. Foreigners are not allowed to own landed residential properties in Singapore. If they want to do it, they will have to apply for special permit from the SLA or the Singapore Land Authority. So this shop house falls within a full commercial landed zoning, which means that it has no restriction and there's an opportunity for a foreign person or an entity to own a piece of landed real estate in Singapore. So this is one of the reasons why shop house has grown in value over time because it reaches out to a wider pool of buyers. And another reason it would be the scarcity of these shop houses because there are only about 6,500 shop houses in Singapore and you can only find a couple of transactions per year. So you can regard shop house as an antique because it has a history background to it and it's not just an art piece to collect and admire but it is also an asset that generates rental income. So the owner of this shop house has done asset enhancement on this unit and spent about 200,000 on renovation and an extra 40,000 to equip this place with optic fiber to have high speed Wi-Fi. So shop house is a great alternative choice for office spaces and it's a popular choice for F&B operators because of its charming Versace look and design to it and also it's 24 hours accessible compared to a shopping mall. So Shop House has been proven as a great asset class for wealth preservation. If you need more information, facts and figures, just find them on my website link below in the description section. Right, so this is the end of our Shop House series. If you would like to have a look of this unit, just drop me a call and I'll be happy to show you.